We're live. Yeah. Evening, everyone. Oh, you're welcome to join the live if you wish to come in. Be nice to see some of you on here. Okay. We we'll wait for you to join. Oh. Some others are joining here. What this is about this evening is, is me going into trance and Oops. you get to ask some questions. Uh, we won't be giving any readings on here, of course. Um, I do do private readings, and but uh, we won't be doing any of those tonight. We also have a YouTube channel under my name, Elaine Thorpe. So if you'd like to watch some of our videos on there, which we will be doing more updates on those soon okay welcome to those of you that have joined some of you may already know me hello to Trish and Vicky and and Tinker and Pauline <coughs> nice to see you all on here this evening oh I love your work thank you Yes, we haven't been on here for a while. Uh, the last one I joined was somebody else's. Uh, the spiritual plumber had me on his live to do some trance and asking some questions. <clears throat> so there's some more of you joining now. Andrew Christoph. I do I hope I'm pronouncing things right there. Uh, and Erin. Welcome all of you. This was uh, on a bit of a whim. We we didn't uh, plan to come on here, but now we're on here, so that's good anyway. Uh, um, so the plan is, um, we'll take <coughs> questions for Jonathan when he, he um, when Elaine goes into trance, but also um, was hoping to let people join in and chat to Jonathan. Um, so. If you do like to join, would like to join, um, just request to join and we'll try and get maybe two or three of you in. Um, if anyone has any questions now, you're welcome to ask them to, before we do go into trance. We're going to give it a little while. Good evening, Elaine. Kay Hardy, yes. <coughs> some of you on here I may have spoken to personally before. Or if you've been to some of our shows... Okay, hello from Rome. Oh goodness me, all the way over over there in Rome. Welcome, Lindy Lou. There's quite a few joining here. I'd love to know what my future looks like. I don't think we'd be doing any readings, just questions and answers, but maybe spiritual matters or other things. But um, yeah. I love watching you. Oh, Happy New Year, and to you too, Scott. Let's hope it's a, a good one for us all. We will be trying to do more this year, um, on here and on YouTube, and sometimes we do Facebook Lives. Now oh, it's a bit dark, turn it on again. In the midst of a move, so I feel energetically all over the place. Oh dear. Well, I'm sure once you get in and settle, Trish, you'll be all right. Hi from London, Arthur. Evening from Wales. Oh, we've got quite a few. Jo Where is Jonathan from? He was from Isling in Islington, sorry, in London. Right back in the 1800s. Oh, I'm sure he has passed over. He's at peace. Oh, I'm from Islington. Oh. Oh, that's good. Well, he was married in St Mary's Church there. I'm very curious of what's their afterlife. Oh, it's very beautiful. Yes, uh, Lindy, I will be going into trance. Hi from Shetland. Oh, wow. St Helens. We're all here from everywhere. Well, welcome anyway. <coughs> it's nice to hear from you all. 
great reading from John. Five years, crikey. Where's the time gone? Thank you for the rose, Scott. Have you worked in Leicester? No, I don't think I have. We're doing a few places this year. We're up in Coventry. Yeah, Coventry isn't too far from there. Oh. We're there this year. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you'd like to see Elaine, um, she's doing some shows around the country. Um, just check our website, elainebop.com. Are you, um, Roy Jones asked, are you a platform medium? Yeah, I do work on the on the uh, front. I do uh, demonstrations. Um, we do travel about a little bit, you know, at least a few times a year. We, we try to get about. And we put all our shows on now on uh, Patreon, on our YouTube channel. So if you want to join that. Uh, oh, what's that? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Do you come to Italy? No, not at the moment, but maybe one day. Uh, oh, when you're ready, we're, we can go into trance. Yeah, okay, I suppose um, so you're all waiting. Uh, before we do <coughs> go in, we will ask questions and answers from the comments, but also, if you would like to join, um, obviously we can only have a couple of you join, but um, we will endeavour to try and get a couple of people in to talk to Jonathan personally. <clears throat> um, so yeah, when whenever you're ready to go, we're okay. started. Well, if you're all ready, I'm gonna go into, into the relaxed state now, all right? <clears throat> uh, Roy Jones said he'd like to join, so. Oh, that used to be my old boss's name years ago, Roy Jones, okay. All right, everyone. <clears throat> If you're ready, I'll just do a little prayer on my own mind and then uh, soon and Trish Evans would like to. Okay.
Good evening, everyone. Uh, good evening, Jonathan. Yes, I am pleased to join you. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. Um, so we've gone live tonight with um, with people um, and allowing them to ask questions. So if anyone has any questions, um, we we tend not to answer, answer personal ones because it's very hard to communicate with uh, Jonathan through this. But um, if you do end up in the live, you're welcome to ask questions. But um, yeah, uh, someone asked, is Karen OK? Uh, yes, <laughs> she's absolutely fine, thank you. She's uh, dancing about here. There are uh, Karen in spirit, but uh, if they are meaning their Karen, uh, do remind me of that. Yeah, I, I would imagine she means um, Karen in spirit. And Dan yes. asked, are things going to get better? I, I guess he means the state of the world at the moment. In general. Yes. I believe it will be a little time before things, you know, create a balance again because there are so many things going on in your world at present and so many distractions. And, and there is so much for people to, to think about, but try not to worry. I think the best thing to do is to concentrate on your own existence at the present. And of course, don't worry about it because whatever is going to happen will happen. And I think that, you know, wh whoever has come into this world to, to help to sort things out where that is concerned, uh, you know, it will be. Um, is, mm -hmm. um, I've got a question. Is anything we can do in this life to improve our lives? To improve your life is to do things that you enjoy doing. And I would say do them more often. Should you have the time to do so, make the time. And to relax and to meditate is good for you. To listen to happy music is good for you. Yes, I would say positive actions create a better life for you. And I think that if you attune your mind to the universe and talk to it, it will answer you in a good way. Um, Kay asked, who is Jonathan? I am the spirit guide of Elaine, yes. I lived my life in the 1800s in Islington in London. That was where I was born and that's where I passed to the spirit world. Okay, thank you. Well, we're just looking to invite some people. What does the spirit world look like? It is absolutely magnificent. You see, when you go to the spirit world, you become a consciousness. And so therefore you are able to bilocate. Here on earth, your thoughts, you could have many, many thoughts going around in your mind, which sometimes could can only ever be in one place at any given time. But where we are, you can be anywhere and everywhere because you are the consciousness alone without the physicality. So if you wanted to be somewhere beautiful, you could just think it and then you would be there. Um, we have another question. How do we get to the spirit world uh, once we pass? Your soul leaves the body, usually raising upwards, and then most report to go into a light tunnel. Not all. You will all have different experiences. But that is the most common spoken about for people that have had perhaps a near-death experience. They look to see light. There are many ways that I could discuss it, but I know that others want to ask questions about different subjects. Um, we have had a question, is there a heaven and hell? There are many, many realms in the spirit world, and the earth is a realm too. And I would say there are the lower realms and the higher realms, which the soul will work through, through many lifetimes, yes. So I think that most people purport this world to be like a little bit hellish, don't they? But it is beautiful, really. It's just the way that people are behaving in your world that makes it seem that way. And of course, the uh, tests and lessons that you learn through your life, through your soul's growth, may seem a little difficult and arduous at times. But yes, there is the flip side of everything. There is the negative and positive everywhere. Okay. Um, if you would like to join and ask, uh, 
uh, speak to Jonathan personally, um, do put a request to join in, because um, we will be allowing a couple of people to join the live and speak to him. Um, a lady has asked, starting out as a medium, does it get easier and quicker to connect with spirits? Yes, I do believe that trusting and letting go does always take time with the human because, of course, you've got to remember that you are part of the equation. You are part of the connection and the spirit is connecting to your consciousness. So therefore, don't worry and think it to be you. Just learn to trust and to let go. Meditation will also assist with that. Um, we have a question. If we turn our back to the light, do we not reincarnate? I think that you will reincarnate anyway because your soul is on a journey and through many lifetimes you can correct any error of your ways. You are learning the negative and the positive of life. So do not think yourself wrong if you are learning through the negative. It is all part of this yin and yang equation of life, isn't it? You see, you experience both sides of everything. So you are never going to be turned away. You will always be loved. Um, do spirits know if you, when you move around, i.e. move to a different country? Yes, we do. We can be anywhere and everywhere with you. There are no limitations to our connection. The only limitation that you create is through your egos. Okay, again, if you'd like to join, um, we are trying to allow people to join. See um, if we have any requests. <clears throat> I don't think we currently have any actual requests to join. Um, we have requests. a request, a guest request from Trish, and so I'll accept Trish in yeah. now. Hopefully Trish will join us shortly. Hello. Ah, hello Lady Trisha. Yes. I am pleased to meet with you. Yes. Ooh, sorry, I'm just a little nervous. <laughs> um I've I've had a question since I started watching you. Um, I've had an experience when I was seven, um, and it has to do with walk-ins. Can you tell me a little bit more about the walk-ins? Because I had a walk-in that took over uh, a very significant um, traumatic part of my life, and then uh, me coming back in again. Yes, and, and you say that that was at a young age. Yes. And how did you feel when you would have left? Uh, I, I, for now, I'm like now in my position, I feel like I don't remember a lot of it. I know there are events leading up to it, but then it's just kind of blanked out. Yes. You see, when you look at a walk, it's, it's, it's on a very, very rare occasion. I think that, you know, I would give you an example. If someone was to have a head, head injury and they were to go into a coma and then they were going to come back with a difference of uh, personality of sorts, uh, their brain would be affected and, and their attitude to life would change. It still makes them the same soul. It's just that their brain has been physically affected by the incident, or the accident. Mm. And, and so therefore, if there had been an accident involving that situation, that could be the physical reason for the change of the personality within that person due to brain alteration of some sort. And, and if there is a, a brain injury and they recover from that, then that can happen. But uh, an actual walk-in, you see, you've got to have two souls going into the same body, not at the same mm -hmm. time. One leaves, one uh, re retreats back to the spirit world. So it's not a very common thing to happen. Usually the soul will, you know, in, it, it will inhabit the body and then it will live the life through that body and then it will leave and go back to the spirit world when the time is up, you see. I Okay. So it's very rare for a shared, a shared uh, being to be used. But you see, whatever has happened to you has been a, quite an, a spiritual experience, but there hasn't been a particular walk-in. Now, oh. I, I don't want you to think that you are wrong in anything that you say. Whatever experience that you have had is an amazing one. Yes. 
to see. Okay. Okay, thank you for that. I appreciate it. <clears throat> oh, you are welcome, my dear. But what I will say to you is that you are a trans medium. Yes, I am. And there were times when you felt that you left your body and that something else was there, you see. So the reason why is that you went into a, a state of relaxation, but we don't climb into your body. We, we step into the aura and use that. You see, we manipulate the aura with the medium's permission, of course, because they have gone into a, a relaxed state, a hypnagogic state. And so therefore, the energy will allow us to step into it as it becomes expansive. So therefore, Absolutely. you've always had that ability. Yes, since as, long, as far as I can remember, yes. yes. Yes, that's right. And if you wanted to develop it, I think that you could go quite deep into the trance, sometimes on a rare occasion to the point where you would make a journey somewhere else while the spirit worked through you. Yes, um, that's something I'm practicing. Sorry, go ahead. That's right. So there, ha there hasn't been a walk-in. You have okay. been going into trance on and off most of your life without you realize it. Ah, okay. Thank you for that. That's that's the clarity that I needed. So this has been something I've been thinking about since then. Yes. Uh, you have a wonderful ability with you. Beautiful, beautiful. So I made a, a a comment earlier that I'm going through a change. It's like massive changes where I'm letting go of a lot of my personal belongings, everything. I'm just starting over. And this is where I feel the energetic energies is just all over the place. And um, really just connecting with you kind of makes me feel um, grounded in, in a way. So, but right now, yeah, I'm going through the change. Yes, that's right. And, and many people on your earth are awakening, not only uh, spiritually, but uh, you know, mentally with life in general, but they are awakening to truths. But you are awakening spiritually. And, and of course, after all of these years, you hadn't realized what had been happening to you. So you were drawn here for this reason. Everything is absolute synchronicity. Uh, and you were drawn in this direction so that you could be uh, informed of what your ability is. Absolutely. And I agree. And I believe part of that journey is um, solo. So I've been I've been single for about seven going on eight years and it life is good. But there is still that missing piece of the companionship. Well, uh, I but I understand what sorry, you brought someone into your life. And if they were written into your life spiritually, then that would happen. Mm hmm. So I know that you would want somebody spiritual to come into your life because you would want them to understand what you are about and what you're doing and what you're entering into. And for someone that is not that way in their mind, you know, that is spiritual and not believing, perhaps it doesn't make them any lesser of a, a beautiful person, but you are needing encouragement. And I do see that in time you will draw someone of that nature into your life. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Well, I want to thank you, Jonathan. I appreciate your time and your energy. I have eternity. <laughs> but it's just only Elaine that doesn't because she is in the physical world. That Yes, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Um, thank you. Um, we will allow another person to join um, shortly. Um, we did have a question. Did you meet your loved ones on the other side? Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. I met my grandmother. In fact, she was the one that uh, she came into the light and, and she took my hand and she said, Jonathan, I said, what has happened? And, and she is saying you have passed and, and it is time to come home, darling, she said. And she was on my mother's side. So I, I listened to her and she took my hand and all of a sudden she, she disappeared. So I thought to myself, if she's, she's disappeared, where is she? But I felt myself being pulled into the most beautiful, warm, loving, golden light. I felt so happy, so loved, so free. But before I did that, I took a look at my body, which didn't look too well and wasn't moving. And I saw people around me trying to help me. But I very, very quickly exited from my body. It was quite, uh, you know, it would be seen as traumatic, but I felt very light, very wonderful. And uh, I wasn't afraid. 
And so when I did finish my travels back to the spirit world, I came to a wonderful crowd of people who I seemed to recognize, but they had gone long before me. And there again, my grandmother was there to, to receive me. And, and they all welcomed me home again. Um, and we have another question. Can you please tell us how you practice astral projection? Yes, that is something that can be a little disconcerting for some. What I've got to say to you is that you have what you call a silver cord, so it's sort of like an umbilical cord. It is a spiritual <coughs> umbilical cord, so to speak, that is attached to your solar plexus. And, and when you are going to depart from this world, that will detach itself from you, from the physicality, and, and that will, the spirit will leave and go back home, you see. But some people have the ability, natural ability, some, to vacate their bodies and for their consciousness to float around. And so therefore you are able to travel around and, and most of you do it in your sleep. You have lucid dreams where you feel that perhaps you are flying in your sleep and there you are not afraid because you are accepting in your sleep and there is nothing to disturb you. Whereas when your ego consciousness is awake, you tend to be very nervous and frightened of leaving your body in case you think that you cannot get back in or something else may get into it. No, that is not the case. It, it takes a little bit of practice and trust, and sometimes it, you will master it if it is meant to happen. But some people, when they first leave, they are a little bit frightened, so they tend to quickly jump back in, you see. But I think the best way to treat the, the consciousness to be free is to allow your consciousness to move aside rather than leaving your body. Just gently move it aside and then you will find yourself in a, in a wonderful place without the fear of having popped out of your body and leaving flying around. Some people adjust to it and some people are a little nervous. So that is the best way for it to happen if you are a little afraid. Thank you. Um, we're going to let someone uh, join that now, if that's okay. Wonderful, okay. yes. Um, pick one at random, so we'll accept Cork Medium. They should have the request accepting one now. Hello. Ah, oh, good evening, my dear. How are you? Hiya, I was just wondering, right, um, what can you see as my spiritual ability? What's the best that suits me, please? Yes, it is what you have come into this world with. Whatever the soul desired to, to plan to do in this physical world, to learn spiritually, mentally, physically, is, is there. But the desire to, to heal is one that you have always felt passionate about. You always have an affinity with the animals and the people to want to give them healing. So that is what you are. And That's you wouldn't one. like I have a strong medium connect. I have a str I'm a very good medium also. Oh, yes, you have clairvoyance. Mm -hmm. and, and that has always been quite strong with you ever since you were a small child. Yes. yes. So to develop that further and, and I do see you going out further with that. And the healing will be additional. Okay. Could you see me doing platform work? Yes. When I said about going out further, that's what I meant, you see. So I, I do see that uh, don't be afraid of it. And I know that you'll feel passionate about it. But once you get out there and start to work with spirit, you'll forget the nerves and you'll start flowing naturally. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. you Good night, welcome. Jackson. Thank you. Yes. Um, we'll allow another people person to join now. Okay. Um, who we have on the list? Hmm. Oh, we'll accept. Okay, so Linda should be joining. Should be joining. Ah, hello, Lady Linda. Hello, good afternoon. How are you doing today? I am absolutely fine, my dear. <laughs> good, good. Um, thank you. Um, I have a question, dude. Um, I, 
do I have any message from like my dad or he passed away to 20 years ago or any loved one uh, on the other side? Well, I, I don't think there's a due readings on here, but what I will say to you is he has always watched over you and he is at peace. He wants you to know that. And uh, he is sitting by a lake. He is uh, with the water. He always liked to be around there. Would you understand that? Yes, yes. I he do. says that he has a boat that he sails on and he always wanted to do that. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Thank you. And he is saying that there is a, a mother lady on the earth. You see that uh, he's looking to and giving healing to. Oh, wonderful. Oh, thank you. Yes. And he is saying that uh, someone has a son in spirit. They lost their son uh, due to a misfortunate uh, situation that he would have taken himself there. And I do believe that uh, he is connected to a friend of yours and he wanted her to know because she is his mother. Mm. May have to think about that one, but he is definitely here. I believe he was only in his 20s when he passed the spirit world. Yes, that was my brother. Yes. Ah, oh, well, you are his, uh, you are his sister. So, uh, yes, he is with you. And he is saying, oh, my darling, my sister, I love you so much. I'm so glad that you came on here because I want you to know I love you and I'm with dad. Oh, my God. That's so wonderful. Oh, my God. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Thank you. I really appreciate this. Thank you. This is a gift. Thank you. Rose and say, take that, darling. I give you a thousand roses because I love you forever. Thank you. And Thank he is so apologizing much. for putting you through all of that. Thank you. He will make it up to you. <laughs> Thank you. Terrible. Thank you. Um, I will have a couple of questions. Um, if a person does something cruel, what happens when they pass? Well, of course, when you go to the spirit world, you all have a life review. All of your negatives, your positives have shown, your happy moments, your sad times. And the times where you have not treated people so nicely and the times when they've done the same to you, perhaps. You all have to learn from all of these different sets of emotions. And if you have chosen to be negative in life, that means that you wanted to learn through that. And you wanted to grow through that to become positive, even if it is not in this life, then in the next one. So I would say that they have to see and experience what they have put the family through, what they have put the actual person through, all of that trauma. They have to go away and learn from that. It is not to say that they are not loved, but I think that some of them sometimes very quickly reincarnate to try to collect correct their ways, but they have learned the negative side and they may come back to learn a bit more of that negative and, and get to the positive, you see. That may take many lifetimes. So uh, everyone has to see the way that they have behaved in life. Um, and another question, how do we overcome um, mental blocks when doing spirit work? The ego. Try to, uh, you know, that is the interfering one. It's not evil but it is part of the human makeup of the emotions. And if you learn over time, as I say to the other lady, trust is, is the, uh, the hardest one of all, isn't it? Because you are, again, you are part of this situation. You are part of the connection to the spirit world. So it has to involve you. So the quicker you let go, the quicker you will come forward with it. Thank you. Um, will that another person mm -hmm. join? Hi, Jonathan. Ah, hello, my dear. Hi. Did, were you a um, spiritual person in, in life? 
Unfortunately, I wasn't. Uh, I, my mother was very religious and uh, I had to be in amongst the Christianity. It was uh, very much traditionalism in those days with religion. Uh, and of course there were atheists, yes, but uh, I would go to the church on the Sunday with my mother as a respect for the family. I didn't avidly study it, I must say, because I was always busy in my life. But of course I, I would look to look to God, look to Jesus as, as the religious people do. Yes, yeah. So you had a, a religion, but not aware of the spiritual. The path. only time I became aware of something a little more misunderstanding, I, I was misunderstanding of the situation, but I felt something very powerful is when I met Elaine in a previous life, in the life that I lived in. And her being a twin soul, which is the perfect reflection of your each other, made me realize that uh, Goodness me, what is going on? I have never felt anything like it. And what do I do? How do I act? It, it was a very unusual feeling. And, and, and then I did speak to, to Jesus, to God, to ask about what was happening. Yes, very magical. Or well, one might say that it is a very rare to experience that. But yes. That's lovely, thank you. You are welcome. So you've, have you, do you feel like you've always been connected to Elaine throughout yes, lifetimes? Yes. Eternity, yes. Yes, not The like. soul is the complete reflection and the spiritual love combined, you see. So all of you have a twin soul, each and every one of you, but not all of you meet in the physical life. There may be either the spirit world and, and one in the, the physical world, as I am in that situation now. Yeah. That's lovely. Thank you for explaining that. You are welcome. A couple of questions, Jonathan. Um, does everyone have a Jonathan? <laughs> <laughs> you all have a spirit guide, yes, every one of you. You all have a guardian angel, which the guardian angel does not incarnate to the earth, but uh, will remain with you, assigned to you for your journey of life. Yes. But the spirit guide will have had other lifetimes with you and uh, will always know you inside out, will always love you. You will always recognize them the minute that you meet them. Okay, um, if we let one more person join before we finish. Yes. Yeah. So just accept it now. Oh. Hello, Hello, Jonathan. Um, I just wanted to ask, I'm struggling with my confidence, uh, really in my mediumship, but through day-to-day -day life as well. I was just wondering how I overcome this, please. Again, love yourself. Trust in you. Become the light. Be the light. Trust in the universe. Talk to the universe. Talk to the heavens talk to your guide. Trust is, is uh, the hardest thing. But if you let go and allow yourself to be wrapped in the arms of lust, you cannot go. I would say Thank you. Uh, also trusting your mindset, your intuitive, because it will always lead you into the places that you're meant to be. Thank you, yes. Um, I've just felt quite stuck lately. Thank you so much for that guidance, Jonathan. You not the support of the universe, my dear, because it will answer you. You're not going to be stuck this way forever. I would say to you that sometimes when people come to a halt and feel stuck in life, they are usually due for a change. You start opening other doors to lead you into different places in life, and you close the old ones. Thank you. Like a spiritual awakening yes. beginning. Right. Thank you very much, Jonathan. You take care. God bless you, my dear. Um, would you have time for one more person, Jonathan? Of course. I have forever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just concerned about you. <laughs> <laughs> We're okay for now.
Oh, yes, I am fine, yes. We'll go with one more person then. Oh. Accepted one. Hi, Jonathan. Oh, good evening, sir. Um, I'm just wondering if you could please pick up on my spiritual gifts around me and if there's anybody around me in spirit, maybe my guide or a loved one. I know you don't do readings, but I was just wondering if you could pick up on anything for me, please. Oh, well, I, I will say that uh, there is a grandfather here on the father's side. Did you know him? Um, I didn't know him, no. Well, he knows you. You see, you know each other, looking at it from a soul point of view. He's very much around you, very much watching over you and uh, helping you through life. Because, of course, you, you wrote him into your life and you plan everything that you do before you come here. Everything is preconceived. So, you see, you are an old soul. You've been here many times. And I think that sometimes people see you as that old soul, don't they? They absolutely do. They do. <laughs> So it's true. I, they're not lying to you. You are an old soul. You've fought many battles through many lifetimes. But what I would say is, again, trust in your intuitiveness. You have the ability to be clairvoyant. You have been given future happenings, haven't you? I have. I'm a psychic medium. I'm international. <laughs> yes. Well, you are Thank going you. to go further. You are going to oh, go beautiful. further. And, and I know that you're very busy and, and you are a wonderful medium. I know that you are very interested in the altered states of mind. I am, indeed. Yes, so you have the capability of that. So would that be implementing trans mediumship with that, or...? Yes, you know, what I want to say to you is you're, it's a very unique form of trans mediumship. It's a light state of trans, but I have noted that when you stand up at the front and do things, that your face is going to slightly change and you take on the mannerisms of the spirit that is connecting with you. Yes, that does happen when I do lots of private readings. Yes, and you feel <laughs> different. You feel slightly different and you feel that, that there is a film or, or a mask over your face. You see, that's slight transfiguration. That is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. You've been so helpful. Uh, you are welcome. Your journey will progress, and this transfiguration will also progress along with it. Thank you, Jonathan. You are welcome. Keep up what you are doing, because you're doing a wonderful job. And please, don't doubt yourself. Oh, bless you. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm sure that you could talk to Elaine one day. She will be happy to meet you, as she cannot see you at present. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. Thank you. Uh, Bless you. Okay. Well, thank you for everyone that's joined tonight. Um, we will have to bring Elaine back. Um, if you have joined late in this and you do want to watch the whole thing, we will upload it on our YouTube channel. Um, Elaine Thorpe, Trans Medium, if you search that up. Uh, you can watch the whole thing back, and uh, uh, we've done a lot of videos on there over the last few years. Um, uh, if we if we could bring Elaine back. Yeah. I thank you for letting me join you. Thank you. And God bless you all. Until we speak again. Mm. All right, thank you everyone. Uh, 
I'll send my blessings out to you and thank you for joining us tonight and putting your time aside and perhaps we'll do more on here as time goes on. I just need to find time to fit it in with amongst the busy lives. So uh, you take care, everyone, and uh, I'll speak to you again soon, all right? Lots of love. Good night.